I'm going to point out something that's in this map too. Um, okay. Now, North America. Okay. You see, you see right here, right here, here's Texas right here. Here's St. Louis. Here's Kansas city. Um, maybe this is, uh, South Dakota, but, but we know this is about right here, St. Louis and then Kansas city and then, and then Texas. So, okay. Now I want to pr prove, prove to you. So, okay. All right. So, all right. Now this, this, this is Kansas. Okay. This is Kansas. So, um, uh, this this map is very accurate and not many app maps show this but um all right it says right here kansas was underwater okay okay now that's scientific that's scientific fact yeah it's a, it's scientific fact i mean you know um so so is texas 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 um, and um, that dinosaur. So age under water. Yeah, this is this is uh, scientific fact. So the Wapsie's written in 1881. Oh, when was Texas the bottom of the sea? So I I, I don't know many dinosaurs, but I know um, Plesiosaurus was mm -hmm. uh, carnivorous. Dinosaur. Um, we're looking right here. Um, Texas was underwater, and that's. I mean, you wouldn't you wouldn't find you find, wouldn't find a plesiosaurus. Like I, I know I, I used to live in Texas, so um, I don't know how to say it. Uh, I don't know how to spell it. Quetzalcoatlus. Well, actually, none of this is under dispute by anyone. No one's disputing yeah. that. Well, but this map, this map, is is in the Book of Sappha, and you have disagreement about the Book of Sappha. It's not in the Book of Sappha. It's placed before the Book of Sappha, and the reason why it was placed before the Book of Sappha is because. to create a psychological uh, good look for Safav, because this has nothing to do with Safav. It was placed before Safav. It was just a strategic propaganda, propagandistic move. Does that make sense? Well, I, I know what you're saying, but what, can you give me proof about, with that? I mean- There's I nothing to prove. The proof is, <laughs> the proof is that the, I'm just telling you the truth. I'm not, it doesn't need to be proved because it is the truth. Safaf, the maps, the divisions, has nothing to do with what happens in Safaf. The, the, the world maps should have been placed where the divisions were being discussed. Does that make sense? Uh, the, the divisions. Uh, so what, what? Yeah, yeah, because when Owasi starts talking to all these names about the places in the world, Waga, and oh, all yeah. the rest, why, why would you put it like halfway through the book? Why wouldn't you put it right where they're talking about it? And the re there is no good reason to, to put it where it was unless you're trying to give a good look to Safav over. Yeah. So, our, so, so we both agree. I mean, the, the, I mean, I, the maps, the maps accurate. Yeah. The map, the maps scientifically are proven. Yeah, yeah. We have no, there's no debate on that. If you, yeah. uh, the only point we were talking, we have some disagreement about why was it placed in the middle of a waspy when, Waspi has been talking for hundreds of pages about these different areas when it would have made more sense to put it on the first page of a Waspi or when they actually started talking about the divisions of the earth and putting the you know step smack dab in the middle. Okay. Over. It doesn't make any sense why, why it was placed there. The only thing I can think of is they're trying to give some positive influence to Safa by placing it just before Safa because it doesn't really do anything for Safa, but it would have done a lot to help people understand the divisions of the earth if they place the maps exactly in a wasp where those divisions there were being discussed for the first time over. Yeah. 
okay, you define the book of Sefa as 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 right here, not not. Um, well, the book of Sefa has a first page, doesn't it? It's the Samoy. I mean, the, um, the, map, the world map has nothing to do with Sefa, and it's just you know spliced there. Uh, a lot. Of, that's very common. Eighty percent of the plates. The images of Punawasu were not put in the correct position. They, they're, they're nowhere near where the actual uh, images are being talked about. I've already done analysis and you can, I have a book, I have um, kind of a uh, research paper called Placing the Plates and it shows exactly where each plate could have been placed. It could, each of those plates could have been placed where they were supposed to be, which is near the text that they're being discussed where each image is being discussed, such as where the world maps are being discussed. But they weren't, they weren't, they're, they're just slapped around as if, the, as if the editors didn't know what the heck they were doing, which is the case. So from my understanding, um, um, the plates were bought by Wing Anderson. Is that correct? And that's what I was- Okay, well the plates, um, when I say plates, I mean, there's two definitions of plates. One, each image is called a plate in a wasp. They use that. Two, the other, the plates of the entire pages. There's also a plate which prints, prints the entire page. So they're, they're using, we, we shouldn't be confused about how plate is being used in two different ways. One definition is, each particular image in a waspy, whether it was Samoan or whether it was a world map, those that's one definition of plate. So just be careful when we're talking about the word, word plate. We're not talking about the same thing. The other word of plate, like with the Lant, John Lant, each page was a plate. And uh, th there's a lot of discussion about John Lant's plates, which were the first publication of waspy because those plates contain text which were never in the 19, excuse me, the 1882 publication of OASPI or the 1891 publication, which proves in itself that John Newbro did not publish OASPI as he received it. He, he, he screwed around with it. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I, I do agree with that, um, but um, to the extent that uh, Freemasonry um, w was was his goal to put in the Wapsi, I, I don't I don't believe that. I believe Freemasonry is inherent to every religion. Well, you can believe whatever you want to, but if you were to go through all the arguments and the evidence which has been presented in hundreds of pages, you would not have a leg to stand on. So. I, all I can say to you is if you want to take my, what I've written about my, the research that I have, go step by step, one by one, each piece of evidence and discuss it with me, yeah. then we have a discussion. Okay. And you won't, you'll find yourself trying to defend that which is indefensible yeah. because the proof is there. And Dr. John Newber was a high level, the highest level possible of a, of a Mason himself. Yeah. And the New Mexican land were, Shalom was established. That was purchased from a Mason. And John Newbro was buried in a Masonic cemetery. And John right. Newbro was buried with Masonic rites. And John Newbro practiced Masonic rites at Shalom. So he never rejected being a Mason. So, and in fact, if you go into the commentary of a Waspi itself, there are like 500 word essay about where just just a 500 word passage about how great the Masons are. So I mean, yeah. you can look, you can open a book of Wasp right now. Look at the commentary by John Newbro. There's a long passage there saying the the, the Masons were great. Over. Yeah. yeah. You you're more you're more familiar about that topic than me. Um, Sorry. I, I, you you're obviously right though. This this map right here doesn't go. It doesn't go along with uh, Simon. Yeah, it, I mean, it, they just had a place to things where they're supposed to place them. And uh, Nuro had no idea or they didn't care. I'm not really sure 
why they didn't put things where they're supposed to go. Um, it's pretty haphazard and uh, it kind of hurts the understanding of what the images meant. And if you put the plates, uh, for example, Bob Reisner has put together a digital version of Velocity, which has the plates in the correct position. Um, I gave him the research and he, he, actually, he did it. And it reads so much more beautifully when you can see what you're, they're talking about when the, when the plates go right together. It just makes a world of difference. Over. Yeah. Um, well, you know, I, I don't want to, I don't, I don't, I want, I'm on con, just constructive knowledge. I don't, I don't want to argue about, you know, that stuff. Um, it, it's, I don't know, maybe some, some that's minor. I mean, I, I don't know. I, it, it sure does look like um, the, the tree of language. Would, well, um, oh, yeah. I, I like the tree of language. And in fact, according to the, authorship software analysis, the tree of language was not written by Newbrough. However, the book of Safaf took all the writings of John Newbrough and grouped them with the book of Safaf, thus proving that Newbrough wrote the thing. Okay, so it also, that means two things, that one, you should not trust Safaf, and two, the portions of Awaspi which were shown to be not written by Newbrough those have a great chance of being considered the original text over. Yeah. So and, you, and, the, and, the, and I'm sorry to interrupt you. And the tree of Safav was shown to not be, have been written by Nubro. I, I, my, my conclusion really was that just as Nubro screwed around with the book of knowledge and the book of Ben and a few other, uh, you know, the book of Aranathan, he probably, he, he obviously did the same thing with Safa. I believe there was an original Safa and that he replaced it with his own writings because the tree of language, which is actually reads pretty well. And it, according to analysis, he never wrote it. That doesn't necessarily mean it wasn't the original philosophy channeling, but at least means there's a chance that it was over. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Well, so, you know, if you uh, like, did, uh, let, me ask, let me ask you a question. Do you like the tree of, uh, did you like that portion, the uh, tree of languages? Did you like the writings that, and the text that went with it? Yeah, like uh, you're a teacher, you know more stuff about, you, you know more than me about that stuff. No, I just wonder if you liked it, because I liked it. I thought it was kind of cool. Um, it's this, not. This is the most okay. confusing plate I've ever dealt with right here. I've tried to deal with this. Um, it, this is very confusing right here. I, I don't that? know. It, um, this. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. The, I can never pronounce this. Yeah. Oh, rock nebua gala. Um, the study of the waspy guy website, whose name I cannot quite recall. I think his first name is John. He tried, oh. he has oh, tried to figure okay. out a system to use it. I've tried myself actually, and um, I I think it's potentially possible that it, the, the cycles could be used. Uh, um, cosmogony was always kind of has it's sort of been a borderline area where it was shown to be uh, the the books and the software analysis of authorship fell into three groups. One was completely new, bro. One was not was completely neutral and the other one was completely the original channel group. So cosmogony was in the group where it may have been tampered with, but it wasn't enough tampered with to, to show it was clearly Nubro's writing. So I, I, it's impossible to be certain what, whether this was an original uh, communication from the heavens. It possibly was, it possibly was an original. Um, uh, I don't know. I've never, I've tried, it sometimes seems like it works. If you try to do some type of uh, numerical analysis of the past history, but uh, I've, I've looked at the study of a website and he kind of, he kind of forces things to work. And I wasn't convinced with his analysis, but it doesn't mean that it isn't possibly 
uh, it doesn't mean he's wrong about everything. It just means that I'm not, I don't think he's figured out this. If it, if it is a valid system for prediction or analysis of the past um, world trends, it isn't, no one has yet shown they know how to work with it. Um, Wing, Wing Anderson also wrote several books uh, trying to do just that over. And I don't think he, I don't think he succeeded except maybe in very small ways over. Yeah, this is it's complicated. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the Ode, the Dan, Ajai, Jai, I mean, that, that is all understandable, but. Um, yeah. Um, I, there I, may, yeah, I haven't really made a major effort to understand. I have made some effort. I, um, there's also a, there's a possibility that it's put in there to be confusing. Some people, a lot of new age mystical kind of people look at things. If they can't understand it, then it must be holy or from God because it's like we're, we can only approach it by degrees and understand it through uh, purification and long study. So, but it looks, it's very esoteric looking and it can almost be like a gimmick. You can think of it as a gimmick to draw people's interest and make them think, wow, I don't understand this. That's cool. I still don't know what it means, but it's cool. It must, this is more proof. But I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm just saying that's a possibility that it was put in there just to make people um, gawk. Like, um, no, while, being completely, while, while being complete garbage. But I'm not, I have not made a definite, I still cannot say whether it's complete garbage, partial garbage, or completely right. I can't, I couldn't, I couldn't give you a definite yeah. answer on that. It's over. Yeah, I mean, like, I mean, um, you know, the old 11 years, um, the generation. Yeah, that's true. That, that all makes sense to me. Like, yeah, well, the sun cycles, the sun cycles, yeah. the solar cycles, 11 years and, so on. I mean, I think there's a heck of a chance that a, a little or a lot is is right. We just have. To, I mean, again, with Nubro, if Nubro had never messed around with everything, then we could probably feel more comfortable in looking at things and say, "Man, I can figure this out." But because he has a his he has a less than stellar history of messing with things then you everything becomes suspect and you wonder is this just garbage that he put in there yeah. because I, there's other places like in, such as in sapa what there is just garbage and it has no meaning at all nothing nothing there's, you can look at it for 50 to 50,000 years and it's still it's, it still is just garbled words and um it's they were put there just to make people say hey i don't know what this means oh well it must be mystical that's all i want to that's what Let's worship it, and uh, it doesn't make any sense to anyone really. But ex except once in a while, you, some people imagine what they think it means, and then they say, "Well, it's possible to understand it." But they're fooling themselves for the most part. Over. The, yeah, this seems this 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 plate seems to me. It seems accurate. I mean, it it, it seems like. Um, the rest of the lapses talks about it talks about that um i believe that parts of it are accurate i believe it was sabotaged or piecemealed out certain that part of it is right but there's a lot of it that is just masonic symbolism you know pigeon um pigeonholed in there when it doesn't have to be um, I, I mean, it isn't really, it starts out looking like it's going to be a phonetic kind of language where it goes, ah, if you look at the very first characters and then it sh shifts over into kind of like a Chinese pictograph where it's, it's a symbol. Symbols are used and it's, there's no real reconstruction of a, of a single word from sounds. So I, again, I've written about this and I think I would not trust all of it. I would not trust all of it. 
Um, and anyway, um, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, Owaspi came to free man's mind to seek the direct inspiration of the Creator. This is not leading us towards the direct inspiration of the Creator. It's saying, hey, look at all these weird symbols. We got maybe like 600 symbols for you to look at and study. Well, great, but that's not going to help us help our other fellow men, brothers and sisters in the world. It's yeah. not going to help us seek direct inspiration. It's a distraction. It's like saying, it's like in the Catholic Church, we have the sacred mysteries. Uh, the Rosary has like five different sacred mysteries you can study. And this is, it's just, these are all sacred mysteries. And you can look at them, and, but you're, you're just counting how many angels can fit on the, you know, the, a point of a pin. And it's not, it's a complete waste of time. It's just an excuse not to do something that's real and relevant to making this world a better place. It's just an excuse to imagine yourself as becoming holy by studying these images. It's, it's a facade. It's a, it's a ruse. And the other bad thing about this is in the, in the spirit world, symbols are like a link. There's a, there's a reality to symbols in the spiritual world because it's a men, the, world, the spiritual world is a mental world. So if you're connected to images, then you're connected to that part of the spirit world. That's why the Catholic Church, all the religions have their symbolism. Because when you tune into that symbolism, you become part of that spiritual dimension. Okay, so if I study Islamic images and Islamic words, I become, my mind becomes trained to becoming one with Islamic heavens. If that's what you want, great. But in essence, what it's doing is binding you into a certain spiritual realm. That you So if you covenant yourself and commit yourself to these images, you're committing yourself to the spiritual realms where these images are originated from and are being uh, communicated to our, which are being broadcast to our world. So that's not going to take you into the free higher heavens. By looking at symbolism, instead you're just binding your mind. It's like learning to say the rosary 50 times a day. It's like studying the Quran. It's like trying to study hundreds of verses from the Quran. You may think you're doing something that's spiritual, but instead all you're doing is binding your mind into very limited ideas. So, big caution, big warning against studying the symbolism in Safa. Sorry. Yeah, I, I've had I've had people from the UFK, the UFK, and of course I've seen the writings from the Cosmic Church and the UFK, where they've basically advocated studying these these symbols and they hold them up as like a higher mystery that will make you more holy, become holier by studying these symbols. But at the same time. You know, throughout a waspy, a waspy does not say, "Let's study a bunch of symbols and pictures." That's that's the purpose of a waspy. You know, hell no, that's not what a waspy was created for. It's created, you're supposed to seek the creator's inspiration inspiration directly. You should just go, throw yourself into the a river, a man, walk on the mountains. Um, you should just meditate before sunrise, but with the creator, not looking at these dumb symbols. Over. Yeah. Okay. It, it, like, in Christendom, obviously, iconoclast um, comes to mind. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, there's all sorts of there's all sorts of symbolism and rites, and um, th that's a, that's what religion is, and yet Owaspi tells us, Owaspi says his purpose is to free us from religion. But what Nubro and the Masons style faithists have done is they said, well, let's not get rid of religion. Let's just become another religion. And so it's really disgusting that those who claim to have read Owaspi are actually going directly against the core principles of Owaspi by advocating making it into a religion itself over Well, um, 
Look at uh, no, that's not. Even... I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I, and again, uh, Matthew, I'm sorry that I come off so strong on this, but it's because I've seen what's happened. I've be, I've met a lot of the people in the faithist movement, and I've seen people who have been betrayed by this and become disillusioned. I've seen people pick up a wasp, look at Saf and say, man, this is garbage, this, or this is demonic. And they, they would never look at it again, which is another possibility that this, this, the Masonic spirits wanted a wasp to fail. And so they put all this garbage in it that would make anybody think, man, this, is, this looks kind of evil even. I mean, you look at some of the images in Saf and you're going, what the hell is this? And it's to turn people away from it. And I, if you took those images out, all of a sudden the Waspy just has a simple message. Seek the creator, seek to help people, period. And seek, seek to understand the heavens and to purify yourself. But if you put all this other stuff in here about studying symbolism and performing these strange rites, then all of a sudden it's, it's a cult. And, and, and in every case where I've seen there's, there's a long history. Not, not all the faithist groups have been cults, which is a, but there's been a lot that have been, and where there's one person in charge, and what they said was law, you know, over, and that's what we don't want, over. That's not what, and that's not what a waspy wants, over. Freedom, freedom, above all else, over. So that's why I, get, that's why I feel so strong about this, because a waspy means so much to me, yeah, I see people who are claiming to be experts on a waspy, and yet they're going against the most basic concepts that a waspy has taught, which is inspiration from the creator, good works, and um, freedom, freedom to live your life the best you know how, over. So that's why I get mad. That's why I'm sounding mad now, because it's, Disgusting me that this book that such has such high ideas is being brought down into the cultism level. It's it's just a total abomination, degradation of what Owaspi was written for, and it just is very frustrating for me to 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 have seen what's happened. Um, sorry, over. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know what to say because I, I I'm not going to convince you no matter what I say. You know, mm -hmm. what do you want to convince me of? Well, I want to the, the the plates. I wanted to convince you of the plates. Um, the this this plate this plate. Um, Which plate? I, obviously, you believe in both of these plates. Um, I have no idea what this plate is, but. Uh, uh, this plate is, seems accurate. Oh, oh right, right, right. I've written a whole, I've written many pages about those plates. In, if you were to read what I wrote, I explain each section. I, if you go back to the other plate, I talk about the section on the top. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight sections on that plate. I write about each one and talk about what it means. I have a background in linguistics and I know how language works. And I've explained, I present evidence as to why this is just a hodgepodge thrown up there that would never be understood, impossible to understand. It's unworkable. So you say to yourself, why is this unworkable? And it's, it goes back to what I said earlier, which is they're just trying to uh, razzle dazzle you, where they put stuff up. It's the old idea. A lot of people are looking for something that looks mysterious and mystical. And that's what this is supposed to do. It's supposed to look mysterious and mystical. But if you try to actually understand it, you'll say, this is completely garbage. Okay. And I, I even, I've tried to look at it even from a linguistic point of view and say, well, let's say this is a real language. Let's see if we can make it work. And again, if you, re if you had really read what I wrote, had written, you would say, you know, you would understand why this is garbage. And um, I, rec I recommend anyone to read what I've written about it. I've written about this plate. 
I'm, I'm not, I've uh, decided everything in a WASP, I'm gonna look at every part of SAFA, that's for sure. And I've, I've already done that. So please, please, Matthew, instead of trying to convince me, why don't you read my, what, why don't you read what I wrote and present the evidence and then talk to me about it piecemeal by piecemeal. Because um, there are definitely logical reasons why this all screams out fraud. Okay, so and I, it is. It is. <laughs> the computer analysis says Nubro wrote stuff. I mean, what more? I mean, to me, that's that in itself should okay. make you say, uh, "Well, maybe we shouldn't be looking at stuff the same way." But we shouldn't be. We should. You should be saying, "This is." Safa has no business business being, at least the version that Newbro published has no business being in a WASP, nothing. And anybody purporting to study it and considering it part of WASP is deluding themselves and endangering their, themselves. Not, not, go ahead. I'm not saying it's gonna pull you down. I'm not saying you look at it for five seconds and you're gonna be pulled straight to hell. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying the more you accept it into your heart as being true. Now, this is not part of Safa. This is just something they put in the front. He put a title, Book of Safa. Wow. But maps should not be there. They just did that to, because they thought it was the coolest part. Of, the coolest image in the book in Owaspi is, are those world maps. Okay. And they put it in a place where they thought it would help make legitimatize Safa, which is the very front. Now, the, the, tree of, the tree of languages, that's what should have been the first part, first page of, of Safa. And I still believe there was an original Safa, which was completely destroyed or mangled. I think there are still a few parts of it left in the postal, published version of Safa, but not much has survived. And you can see they, didn't, they did not publish the text that went with that image, did they? It is, it is not in the published Waspi. Can you tell me why it is not? <laughs> you can't. You can't tell me why it's not. So, so let me let me get clear with your beliefs, your belief system. So you believe it's in not even a belief system. It's a system of argumentation and evidence. It's oh. it's a I presented a logical argument with evidence. It's not even a belief system. It's 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 like a lead, I've done an analysis. So so when you talk about what I'm saying, I'm what I have is an analysis with evidence. It's not a belief system over so through uh, let me let me ask you a very important question do you believe in the wapsi sure i've already told you that i said i love I well love you've, the never, you've never said it on video though no i just if you go if you rewind this video i've already said it about seven minutes ago oh, okay i said i love a waspy and that's why i'm angry because i see it being distorted and uh mis abused by the so-called priests and clergy of Owaspi who yeah. claim who want to be these high who want to have a new religion with them as themselves as the as the religious leaders this so, is an abomination so, to what Owaspi actually teaches what percent of the book of Safa is according to your studies bogus at least 90 around 95 to 98 percent is bogus there are, some, there are fragments left which are which are probably original it could be original but not much do you think Jen and like i said before the scientific analysis from the software analysis says new bro wrote it i mean they took they're like six they had like seven or eight books that new bro wrote and they pushed the Book of Safa into that group. They didn't push the Book of Jehovah in that group. They didn't push the Book of Judgment in that group. They pushed the Book of Safa in that group, okay? So that, it isn't, the, the time for doubting what I'm saying is over. What you need to do, you need to move on and accept the fact that Safa was not, as it was published, was. Uh, it's not used. I mean, I mean, right now, if you right now, if you if you deny evidence like that, to me, that is not very logical. Over. So, do you think Newbrow 
had a partner in writing the book of Sapa? Uh, yeah, the spirit, the Masonic spirits who inspired him were, were his partners. When you, when you, when you join a religion, you just don't, you just don't have this neutral area where there's no spiritual association for you. If you were to become Catholic, you would have Catholic spirits around you. Okay. You'd, you'd find them in the church. You'd find them when you studied the Bible in a Catholic fashion. When you, when you said Catholic prayers, the same thing, if you were to become Islamic, if you were a Muslim, study them, study the Quran, the spirits from the Islamic heavens are going to come to you. It's the same with the Masonic world. I mean, um, spirit world. If you study, if you become a devoted Mason, Mason with all those rites, all those prayers, all those symbols, you're going to have spirits who are in your head. Okay. They're part of your life because you accepted that spiritual path right now. You are not on, you're not, you're not a Muslim. Okay. You have nothing to do with them because you have not committed to that path. But once you are, you, you as John Nubro has done, had done, commit to the Masonic path, the spirits are with you and they inspire you. If you were a uh, Muslim right now, you would, be, you would be inspired by the spirits, the guardian spirits for the Islamic world. Does that make sense? Over. Um, if you if you if you convert to religion, there's a spirit world that you're com that you become associated with. That's well, all I'm saying, Matthew. Uh, John Nobra was specifically told, and by the spirits, right? He was specifically told by the spirits. The, uh, no, okay. Until it was published. Okay. Again, I wrote about this in the book, but uh, Nubra was went through a 10 year period of purification where he did everything that you're supposed to do in a waspy. He worked for the poor. He had a vegetarian diet. He purified his thoughts. He tried to be the best person he could be. Well, that, that's a very important part too. And right. then you're, you're saying afterward uh, that he, he did the changing after he did that purification. Well, I mean, he, he, he was stuck. He, Owaspi was being published by John Land. Okay. He took the original version of Owaspi as he channeled it. And to me, and then he was publishing it. But the once Owaspi was created, it was in his hands. It was his responsibility to do what he would do. And what he did, he, so he did publish it. He said, okay, John Land's going to publish it. But then he stopped John Lant from publishing it and said, well, you know what? Some new voices have come into my head and they're telling me to do something different. Uh, new bro, it's the same, it's same for all of us. Every day you walk on this earth, every hour, you have choices to make. You can do bad things, you can do good things. You can work for others, you can work for yourselves. New bro, after he did the challenge, was not in some kind of high state where he could never make a mistake for the rest of his life. He, it was up to him to, to, to be the person he would be, to listen to the inspiration he wanted to listen to. And his, his new inspiration said, don't publish a waspy. Stop what's happening. Stop it. And he did. He told John Lent, don't publish anywhere. Does that, doesn't, that make, doesn't that seem strange to you? But he did it. And the voices that told him to stop it were obviously the ones who led him to revise the wasp, which we know he did. That's not even, Matthew's, I mean, look, Book of Aranathan, Book of Knowledge. Obviously, he changed it, okay? He didn't publish it the way it came, it came to him. To me, that alone makes everything Don Nubro decides um, questionable. I mean, if you tell me, well, now he's not going to publish the way he got it, all of a sudden you're saying, Gee, maybe he's compromised. Maybe he's being controlled by some dark force because there's no reason for him to do that unless he's trying to make, unless some spirit, something, some forces in the spirit world are trying to mess this up. And, and you have to go right back to, this, to what his life was like. He was like a high priest of the Masons. Okay. He wasn't like 
someone who walked into the Mason door saying, hey, hey, uh, what's the Masons? I don't, what's going on, man? I want to know more about the Masons. And then, oh, really? Oh, that's cool. Let's talk to you later. It wasn't like that. He went through hundreds and hundreds of rites and ceremonies and writings. He was like, he was like the bishop. He was like the bishop of Philadelphia, okay, for the Masons, okay? Everything and anything, he had total devotion to the Masons. So, I mean, so it's very hard to change your spiritual stripes. So when a wasp was channeled, the angel said, okay, man, it's up to mankind. John Newbro, take it from here. He started to do the right thing by having John Lamp publish it, but then he stopped the publication and he took, and he did not publish the waspy the way it was channeled. That's, no one can debate that. And so you have to say to yourself, well, gee, I guess he was controlled by something that wasn't so great. And you have to go back to what he was indoctrinated by, which was the Masonic path. And if you look at Safa particularly, it is chock full of Masonic symbolism and ideas and rites. And that's what I show in the book. There's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of examples of it. Okay, not just, it's not like two or three, having two or three times. It's the whole thing is full of them. And, uh, and when you top that off with the fact that Owaspi was written, I'm assuming Safa was scientifically proven to have been written by him. I mean, what more, what more, why are we even discussing this? What we should be doing is saying, let's move on. Let's move on and do what the core principles of a wasp actually teaches to do. What, what's the name of your book again? Uh, <laughs> Discovering the True Path of a Wasp. Yeah. It's on YouTube. Is it on um, Amazon right now? It's, it's not on Amazon. It's not, it's not finished yet. Okay. Um, I have it uploaded. If you'll join... The New Age Books of Truth and Inspiration on Facebook, you can get a more up-to-date version of it. Even what I have on YouTube is not exactly totally up-to-date, but um, the whole the whole thing's complicated, so it is a long book. So it looks like you got about 450 pages now, right? Even No, it's more like six, 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 seven hundred pages now. Okay. Um, uh, it, what's on YouTube is, uh, it's at least 600 pages, but I, I wish it wasn't so long, I guess. I think it's going to have to be broken up into more than one book. But it is, I do have it broken up in parts, so it'd probably be best to have it like, it's probably going to end up being 1,000 pages. It's probably going to end up being like four or five books of 200 pages each. Um, I, could, I think Waspy is the greatest book ever written, period. Yeah, that, that's a good point that you make that. Because a lot of people who, who look at you kind of think, uh, this, this guy is very much... Against the Waspy. Yeah. I say it in the book. In fact, um, my next section of my book is I'm going, it's called The Highest Light of a Waspy. I'm going to go totally positive. I do go positive on a Waspy. Throughout it, I mean, I'm quoting a waspy to show why what is being pro propounded by the Safaf people is contradictory to the core principle. So I'm quoting portions of waspy which are in complete contradiction to what's in Safaf or a complete contradiction to what the priests and clergy and showmen. The, on YouTube and elsewhere and, and different websites, they're saying crazy things which go against the core principles of Waspy. And I drag them into the book because I, I just want people to realize there are cult leaders out there who are very willing for you to be one of their disciples over. But when, but, but I quote a Waspy in a way to show that, hey, what they're saying is against a Waspy. So how can they pretend that they're a proponent of OASPI when they're against the core principle over? You've done a, you've done a lot of positive. It, it's... Yeah, it's positive. It, it is positive. And uh, 
And and when you when you're doing, not, go ahead. doing a book like this, you understand the subject matter even better because you're doing the research and your knowledge intensifies. Um, and I believe that's what's happened. With there, you. there are things I didn't realize before I started doing the research. I really didn't know the sequence of events, like like the the, the John Lant thing and how Owaspi had had not been completely published. I mean, I'd heard about it and read about it through Jim uh, Dannon's books, and it, it, but it was more of like, um, oh, really? That's cool. It's like a apocrypha kind of thing where there's new books that I hadn't heard about. Oh, that's kind of neat. Wow. But I didn't understand the implications of it until I started writing the book, which is basically new bro uh, vandalized to Waspy, you know, for his own purposes. And um, uh, I, I, I'm not saying he's evil incarnate either. I, I don't mean that. I'm just saying uh, he was controlled by the spirit world. So it's not, Pardon? Let, let me let me just be clear, okay? John Lant, um, his the writings are under uh, the Rio, Rio de Janeiro flood. Uh, so, what about what about Ray Palmer? Ray Palmer said he had the original. That's not really what? true. No, uh, you mean the original plates? No, I don't think so. He just had older versions for the 1891 or the version probably. I mean, I like, I like, I think you, we both agree. We both like his edition of Waspy the Vast. It has like the gold uh, edges, the green cover of the old gold in the edges. It's kind of big. I, I've always liked that for reading purposes the best. I think the Ellos came out with a really great version too. Um, yeah. Which I'd recommend. So, just, just, I'm just wondering um, briefly. Um, you talk about Jim, Jim Denham's, uh, his work, right? Right. What, 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 what one is that? What, what book is this? Oh, well, let's see. Uh, I mean, I have to look up the title, but he's written like three different. Um, it isn't like what. I mean, they're public. He wrote like three, like the rights. I mean, I'll look it up now if you want, but it's like, I mean, just do a Google search, Jim Den, and you'll have the titles of the books. I, I, I can't quite, they're not, they're very plain titles, like um, the rights. Uh, I mean, I can do it now for that matter. Uh, oh, man. Yeah. I mean, just Google it. I, I don't remember. The, I, I don't want to say. I can imagine when I think it was, but I'll just look it up. Okay. I mean, yeah, Jim Dannon books, Google search, and the Waspy story. Okay. Dr. Nubro and Waspy. Uh, if you go to Rites and Ceremonies of the Faithless Order, Emeth the Chava. Yeah. He's written stuff for the Cosmic Voice, and he—I mean, he's the one that made me even first think of the Masons because he—he noticed some similarities, but he didn't—he just said it's very similar. Wonder what that means. Research materials pertaining to the Waspi story by Jim Dennett. So he's done research, and he's probably got like five or six books on a waspy and uh he was the first person i think who really tried to find out what was going on he, he tried to bring the unpub the unpublished writings to light and to uh, and a lot of some of the rights that were in the lodge the first lodge just that Newborough founded around the country they had rights which were supposed to be from Safav and which were not published, except some, except in part at most, and they were using these rights over. This, this, this right here, this right here is a very interesting work of Jim Denham. Um, 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've no, uh, Jim Denon did the, uh, right, and I'm the one who published that, actually, on the internet. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, no, I take that back. Wait, did I? Well, maybe. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't do that. All I did is I put it in book form. Okay. Uh, but, uh, I, I didn't do that. I apologize. Um, I think, man, I don't want to say who did it. It was either probably Stephen York. I could be wrong about that. Uh, it could have been Art Bosman. Uh, my first guess is Stephen York, though. Put it out there. And it was published in the mid-1980s. I think he did a good job with this. And... Um, it really clarified some of the cosmic cycle things over. I don't have a problem with any of this. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah, just it's cosmological cycles. It's, it's interesting. I, it shouldn't be the purpose of your life to understand this, but I think it's helpful to know, helpful to know there are cosmic cycles that we need to uh, walk at some point in our life over. Ah, <laughs> what's that? I just, I just, I saw some of the stuff, some of the stuff I published, so that's how I laughed. Yeah, actually, I, I did an Excel sheet about this, um, Jim Denham, Wapsi's Enigma, Enigma. Um, this is mm. really, um, what Jim, he was, Jim Denham was a very bar powerful inspiration. Yeah, I mean that's he he started me off anyway. Um and then and then um she Sheila kind of plagiarized this stuff, right? Um that that particular this removing Wapsi so Sheila? Uh, Sheila. Is it you talking about the uh, Nigerian? Um no, the guy from Atlanta. That's the Nigerian. No, the guy from New York. New York. No, no. Sheila Shalom. It's Sheila Shalom. He's from. He's from Nigeria. Isn't he from Nigeria? He's from Nigeria. I thought so. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay. We we were talking about the same, but I know who you're talking about. I'm sorry. Uh, and I. I used to think it was my job to oppose him or to be like a defender of the faith against him. But I think that was the wrong approach. I, I think you have to let, if people decide to go cult, then it's, it's on them. All you, but you do have a responsibility to warn people, but you shouldn't take them on personally and try to like debate them into submission. It's not going to work. You just let the people do believe what they want to believe. And, this guy. And I, I just want to say that I think. You know, a lot uh, of people. Yeah. Anyway, he was, what he's saying, I'm afraid to talk too much about him because I feel conflicted. I feel like part of me, I feel the good, I see the good in the man. And the other part, I see some things which I don't think are that great. And I think he's trending in a good direction. But I'm trying now not even to judge him. Although my book covers some of what he said about the moon cycles um, as an example of how you can go over the deep end by looking at Safa literally and trying to do what literally what Safa says over. It's interesting you said Nigeria because how did he get the funding um, and how does he know those other Nigerians from Nigeria? I mean, he, I, I, I didn't, you know, his music video, when his music, Sheila Shalom's music video came out, I was like, you know, that, it confused me why he, he knew people from Africa and, and that he was getting funding from Africa. Did you know? I, I, I was told by a colleague that he was, uh, I, 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 may, I, I could be wrong about that completely, but my understanding Presently, and it doesn't matter. I mean, maybe he is, maybe he isn't. Um, like I said, he's just, he's a man, he's a person seeking the spiritual path. Yeah. I think he got into the 
he got into the self glorification thing a bit too much. Yeah, but I don't, I, I mean, I know he's doing some good, but I know he's doing some things which are not so good. And um, yeah, I think he's misrepresented OASPI by sensationalizing in certain parts of it. And yeah, uh, I mean, I I'm, I'm, willing to talk, I'm willing to talk to Sheila anytime on on my YouTube just to discuss yeah. it. it yeah, uh, you know, it's like I say, I've, I've basically decided to bury the hatchet and move on with him. Um, I know, you know, he's not, it's just like Nubro. Nubro is not pure evil. He's just misguided. And uh, he was misguided what he believed because he was under the influence of spirits. And I feel the same way about, I mean, we're all misguided to some degree. Nobody's without some kind of negative spirit control in their lives so um i just don't want to i don't want to be a witch hunt thing about this book i, I really what i want to be is if i want to warn people against joining these cults that's all i really want to happen from this that's my and to take steps towards building a positive world the way it was be the vision of was be originally presented instead before before it got tarnished by new bros uh garbage that he, he inserted in there under false pretense over i i thought you were um anti book of discipline before no i never was no never. Okay. book of discipline is great okay it wasn't published in the 1882 version so i which is another thing why the h-e-l-l did new bro keep it out it's too cool a book to keep out so i mean the guy just messed around you know He's under control of dark world to some degree. And it isn't, doesn't mean, I'm not saying he's demonic or anything, but he was messed up. He had, he had some good, I mean, he obviously for 10 years, he was on top of, he was probably the best person in the world for 10 years. I don't know, but he went, once he, once the last, once that phase was over, he kind of reverted into, into megalomaniac kind of, cult leaderish kind of thing so which would be easy to do once he had something very miraculous happen to you like it did to him over yeah um he, he was sick it, it's a little frustrating like because i know the book of aronathan is just not very potent the lord's oh, i love it i love it I think oh, it's one of the best books. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I hope I'm not sounding too contrary to you, but I think Aranathan's one of the greatest books in Owaspi because it talks about being. Uh, to to um, it talks about being more considerate and open-minded to the other religions and to not look at people who is a. Someone says they're a Christian, but they act more. There are many Christians who are more faithless than we are, who who are better people than we are, yeah. even though we've read Owaspi. And I yeah, think that's a exactly. that is absolutely true. There are better yeah. Hindus, there are better Mohammedans, Hindus. I mean, <laughs> you're right. Far better than than faithists. I mean, that's why you're better than us. Better than me, at least. <laughs> the, the ultimate vote is the all persons vote, and the all person mm -hmm. right now is in um, other 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 religions. Um, you, you know. Was it the book of uh, discipline that the, the the concept of it said in the book of discipline? I think it was the book of discipline or knowledge, maybe that um, it says. And then the men and women of fashion started believing, started becoming the faithists. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. That's not it, but um, yes. well, anyway, yeah, so thank you. I, I, I feel like I, I better get going here. Okay, this was going on a long time, so thank you very much for your patience and uh, 
stay well. And this was a valuable conversation. Yeah. And um, just wish everyone peace and light and love. So stay well. This, was, this conversation, I really pointed out your books. I pointed out, you know, I'm not, I, I wasn't going to argue with you. Um, oh, well, yeah, I, like I say, I explained why I get angry or sound like I am angry. It's because it means so much to me. And anyway, I just don't, I hate to see a good thing be corrupted through that which is not true, which is, which you, which I've already explained. So anyway, let's, I just want to move, at some point we have to move on and do what's right and what's real good, what's good. Yeah. That, and when I, when this book's finished, I'd like to work more about, about talk more about spiritual community building. Yeah. I just have to finish this book and see, see the whole process of what happened in the move, faithist movement. And then when I, at that point, we can learn from our mistakes and move on to whatever this new age communities could mean over. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Talk to you later, Matthew. Have All a good right. one. Appreciate it. Appreciate your insight. Keep it good. Thank you. Thank you for Stay your or uh, uh, thank you for all your spiritual insight too. Okay, talk to you later. Bye. Yeah.